I say it all the time, but there is no right or wrong way to use Asana. And that's actually what I love about it is that the tool is so flexible that it allows you to do so many different things. And one of those is that they give you options for the different views and ways that you work in Asana so that you can have some flexibility there. And so I'm going to show you those different views today and how you can use them to match your workflow and your work style. So what I've done here is I've just booted up a quick template uh, for you. This is the default view. It's list view. A lot of people like this because you know you can change um, the the different cells here and this you know really resembles if you're used to working in something like Excel or Google Sheets or or more popularly like monday.com right so you can come in here and you can you know add in you know different fields whatever you need really and you can view everything in a kind of like linear format and what I love about this is if you're on a line it works similar to a word document where if you press enter you can add you know your new task here and and if you don't like it, you just press backspace and then you can get out of it. It deletes it right away. So it, it's really linear, really easy to look at. You can kind of scroll up and down. Your subtasks are visible right there. If you just, you know, kind of drop that drop down. And as you can see, it matches um, that subtask right there. So you're seeing a lot of the same stuff. So that is our list view, one of the ones that, you know, I, I personally like. Um, but if you're more of like a, a, a Kanban style worker, then the board view is definitely for you. And so what it does is it lo loads everything out in, you know, um, card style with different boards where you can easily you know, move stuff back and forth. They make it really simple. Your sections are your actual um, boards up at the top and you can move through things really quickly. So in the last view, I showed you the subtasks. They've made it so that you can view your subtasks right here. You can add subtasks. If there are any images in this view, let me see if I can grab an image real quickly and just upload one for you so you can see what that looks like. So that image is uploading. And then as soon as it does, I'm going to show you how you can view that. And so in this view, it shows you the image right there. So you can see at a really quick glance, everything that is available to you, it's all nice and clean. And if you are working and doing any kind of scrum or agile work, you know, you can add another section over here. We can call this done or completed, and then we can just move stuff over there. And, you know, there are workflows or rules, I should say, that when you move something over there, it automatically completes that task for you so super flexible um, that is the board view um, there's also your timeline view and I don't think I've booted it up on this one yet so it's gonna take a second maybe I'll come back to it um, but your your calendar view is another one that I'm going to show you here in a second once timeline pops up yeah let's come back to it your calendar here so if you're used to you know looking inside of Google Calendar you want to know exactly what's happening day of I mean, there is definitely the Google Calendar integration for Asana, but if you're already in the platform, you can see everything at a quick glance here by the month. You can change months, obviously you can change years and move around really, really quickly. But I love this view because it shows you what am I doing today? What's happening on Wednesday? You know, what's happening on Thursday um, kind of thing. So this is a calendar view. And then of course you open it up and it shows you the, the task detail view. Let's go see if our timeline is ready yet. There it is, perfect. So this timeline view is really great because if you are doing any kind of resource management or planning, if you're a project manager, um, at the you know task level and project level, you can see everything laid out really, really nicely. So in this case, we're looking at a social media calendar. Here is week one and on the 20th, um, you know, this was, this was due. We can click into it and we see those details there. Um, you can see what's happening today, what our milestones are. They're right there. You can um, easily click and drag these if you want to, you know, change the the start and the end date of them. You can slip them around really, really quickly in time. It's super flexible. Um, and then what I, I also like about it is any unscheduled tasks. You can just open them up in the sidebar there and you can just pull them in wherever you need them. So this, so I'm just going to pop it right there that in week two, there's a milestone for our content status um, update there. Um, and then I'm not going to get to dashboards in this video, but there's there's lots of views. These are the, the top four that, you know, Asana has given to us. And so if you're, you know, wondering, you know, how does Asana work for me? I'm coming from Monday.com. I'm coming from Trello. You know, does it have these options for me? I absolutely will tell you that it does. And so um, Asana makes it super simple. So that is basically it. Those are the different views in Asana. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button for me. If you also um, are loving the video series, um, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you think that a colleague or someone on your team would benefit 
from any of these videos, please share it with them. so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. bye for now.